What is up guys? AJ Good here at the House of Masks. It is episode 3 of Mailbox Monday. Today of course is Monday and uh, had a small um, I guess batch of mail come through this time. We've got two packages and two envelopes uh, which could still be cool. I'm pretty uh, excited. This one's for my buddy Joey so we'll save that for last because I do know what's in here and uh, these things are cool so um, yeah we'll start with the envelopes. This one is uh, Keith Trist? Trist? I can't read uh, cursive. So we'll just call you Keith. This one's from Keith. Perfect. We got a couple pieces of paper here. Let's start from the back. <laughs> I think I know how this is going to go. Got a little cartoon Craig saying I hate AJ Good. We've got a what well, looks like a tracing of a Biz character that says I hate AJ Good. We've got a Papa I hate AJ Good that says Hateless Papa. I'm not sure what that means, but right on. We've got some more papers, some more drawings here. This looks like a gym. I hate AJ Good says, uh, just wanted to put me on here. I did draw this, but I liked the pic, so I copied it and filled it in. I'm sure you know who this is. Yeah, obviously it's Jim. Then we got a letter here. It says, Dear AJ, I just wanted to say I'm a huge fan and I loved your videos. I literally watch reruns. You are super cool. I'm starting a mask collection and you are the influence. I hope it turns out as nice as yours. Talking to you on Instagram is like talking to a celebrity. I think your masks are amazing. I hope you like the drawings. I also love your vehicle collection. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I think you are really cool. Thanks. P.S. I hate AJ Good. Mask up. From, from Keith Frist, Instagram name Keith9145. Keith, thank you very much for the letter. Um, don't consider me a celebrity, that's weird. Uh, and I appreciate the vehicle comment because I love my vehicles. Uh, as shitty as a lot of them are, I think it's fun. I like vehicles like that, so we actually just got done riding the scooters today. So we're on to the next letter. This one does not have a name on it. Uh, says it's from Bay Haven. Something, something. It's from Texas. Okay. Got I Hate AJ Good there on the back there. Ascent. This little Stone Cold card, which is fucking sick. That will go somewhere down here, I'm sure. So, uh, and that's the bottom line. Thank you, Fletcher. And what do we got here? This is from Matt Bart. fun is it to just watch me open boxes and struggle like a normal person? Uh, okay, so I know what this is. Let me break the story down real quick. A lot of people ask me where I was influenced to start mask collecting and what got me into masks and stuff, and uh, I think the real, like, turning point for me to get serious was when I discovered Slipknot back in 99 but before that my grandpa was always uh he had just a bag full of masks and I can remember almost every single one from when I was little because I'd always get in the bag and look at him stuff one of the masks that he had and wore a lot for Halloween he did this uh table gag where there was two heads on the table and a third head in the middle and the third head was hit his head like he was underneath the table or whatever and he um, would talk like when kids come up for candy he would be the moving head so that was cool this was the mask that he wore um, when he was the head in the table and uh, I used to have it and we moved houses and I eventually just lost it so this is actually pretty awesome to get back Tharp had it and he sent it my way which is amazing my grandpa's gonna freak out when he sees it um, it's an old top stone 
They're called new skin masks. A lot of them came with like battery operated uh, glow in the dark or like flashing eyes and stuff and they all glow in the dark and they uh, are UV reactive. So just a very weird, crazy old masks. I'm gonna try to track down the whole line. Um, he had two more that he wore, that he would put on either side of him that were just like this, that uh, obviously different masks, but from that line. So I'm gonna try to track those down. So that's awesome. I'm pretty stoked to have that. Um, thank you very much, Matt. That was awesome. Always gotta check. I don't wanna throw anything there. And we are on to the last box, and I do know it is in this one. This was not a very exciting week for you guys because I knew everything that's in it. I know that there's some stuff that should be arriving soon coming from out of country and that's probably why it's taken so long, but people had actually sent stuff the first week that we did this and it's just not here yet. So uh, this will be a short episode. It is what it is. I can't believe that we haven't had, I can't believe that we're going three weeks strong and I've had more than one package show up. That's not what I expected when I set it up, but uh, I'm pretty stoked on how it's going. So Joey actually hit me up. He was doing a contest on his on his Instagram page to get some followers, which I will put his link in the uh, description. And if you're watching this and not on Instagram, there will be a link to his Instagram on Instagram because I'm going to do some singular posts for this, some solo posts. Uh, yeah, he hit me up. He said, hey, man, um, don't worry about the giveaway. I can send you one if you want to uh, promote it a little bit on your channel. I said, hell yeah, I'd be more than happy to do that. So this is what we got. It is a female clown conversion from a Hillary Clinton mask. And tell me that isn't unsettling. I think these things are fucking weird. I'll throw it on real quick. Just so ominous and weird and creepy. So, he converts these. If you guys would like to get your hands on one, feel free to follow him at the link provided below. Uh, on Instagram. He also has a Facebook. I don't know what the deal is with his Facebook, so I'm going to tell you to go through Instagram and pick one of these up. And uh, he actually just did a self-titled clown repaint. It's kind of custom, and it is fucking sick. And I'm definitely going to order some Rudels soon and send him one because I love what he did with it. So, hell of a photographer as well. Uh, he sent me some stickers here. You can see some of his shots. Hopefully the camera picks these up. Obviously they revolve around uh, like horror related toys, action figures, masks, stuff like that. So, yeah, Joey Romero, you are the man. I appreciate the mask and I will do my best to take some creepy shots to do these things justice and give you some shout outs. So, once again, thanks everybody. Oh wait, there's more. I was ready to close and there's more. Got a little Halloween 3 action, little uh, keychain. Fuck yeah, man. So anyways, closing out. I appreciate everybody for sending me stuff. No matter what it is, letters, uh, money, just kidding. Uh, masks, obviously. Stuff of that nature. Anything that you feel that I would get a rise out of on camera or whatever. Uh, you always get a shout out. You have the chance to get back some stickers depending on what it is. So uh, we're gonna do a final recap. I'll show you everything that I got this week. I will leave the information below if you guys feel like sending me something. And uh, until next week, we'll see you later. All right, just a real quick last look at this week's Mailbox Monday haul. As you can see, I've got this clown, uh, female clown conversion from Joey Romero. Matt Tharp sent me this new skin vintage uh, top stone mask I got some art and a letter a little stone cold card keychain some more stickers from Joey and that'll do it for this week I apologize if it was a slow week I'm still super thrilled with uh, everything that you guys sent me and um, hopefully next week some of the ones start rolling in that were out of country or whatever so we can give you a little bit of a longer episode so until next time, I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys later.